days, so it's finally the weekend. But, key bit of information, it is George's last week in Thailand. He actually has six days now, well five tomorrow. So we are going, because it's the last Friday he's here, for a lovely meal up in a restaurant called Wanon Restaurant. It's um, literally in the middle of the rainforest. It's absolutely beautiful and it does really, really good food. I am so sad that George is leaving. It's gonna be horrible when he leaves because he's been doing all my cleaning for me whilst I've been at work and getting all of my food. So I think I'm gonna have a proper reality check when he leaves. Um, so yeah, we are gonna have a really nice last weekend. And on Sunday, I'm so excited. We are going to the Elephant Sanctuary and we did decide to go to the more ethical one because I just think that if you're gonna do something, you've gotta do it properly, um, you know, and with no cruelty whatsoever. And even though the other one is completely fine, they do still let you hug and touch the elephants. And these elephants have been working their whole life with tourists and you know this place that we're going to on Sunday is so much more legit and um, so yeah really exciting weekend So we just had the nicest meal and we had the whole restaurant to ourselves which is amazing. Um, private little guitarist who was singing such lovely songs. What was your favourite song George? Ronan Keaton. Ronan Keaton. George was singing away to Ronan Keaton. Um, yeah, so the food was delish and one thing I did want to say is we were discussing how much George loves Phuket. So, how much do you love it, George? 8 out of 10 would come again. He... <laughs> 8 out of 10 would come again. He is coming again because he'd better come out at Christmas <laughs> to come and see me. But he's had the most amazing time and so have I having him here. So it's so sad that it's our last weekend together. <laughs> I'm so excited! I'm super excited. Shame about the weather there. Yes, massive shame. So we were looking forward to driving up to the north on our scooters, now we both have one. But the rain, it is pretty much not stopped all weekend. So we're getting a taxi, which is a tiny bit annoying. Um, but yeah, we are so excited to see the elephant!
Yeah, it's bloody elephant over there, man. Is it? And there's a monkey right here by the looks of it. <laughs> Get some welly boots up. So after you meet the elephants for a nice little meal you get introduced to them. You go on a hike with them and you're just walking through the forest trying to find them because they're free to go wherever they want which is so lovely. It's just amazing here. I'm really glad that we came to this one because they literally let the elephants do whatever they want to the point where sometimes they actually lose the elephants and they run off into the nearby national park yeah. and they have to shout banana banana to try and get them back again. <laughs> So we met this lady from California and she said she went to the jungle sanctuary. Um, Which also markets itself as ethical. It's the one we were actually going to go to because we were like, we've got the choice, but we went with this one because it looked more ethical. And she said that um, she wouldn't go back again, she wouldn't recommend it. They were still pulling at their ears and pushing them a little bit um, to get them to do what they wanted to do, whereas here it's more you'll just go looking for elephants and you, if you come yeah, across one then you can... If you come across one, then you, you know, get to see it and hang out with it until it wants to move on. There's no forcing it to do anything, which is just fantastic. So I think she definitely prefers here. Um, yeah, so one to note. vegan food and elephants, you need to come to Phuket Elephant Sanctuary. <laughs> so we had the most amazing time at the elephant rescue, well it's called the Phuket Elephant Sanctuary. Um, 
brilliant way to spend just half a day um it wasn't overly expensive and all the money and they stressed that all the money that you pay and um, i think it was about 80 pounds probably um that goes straight on the food um on building new infrastructure and buying new buying the elephants off of their owners which can be really really expensive and unfortunately for the younger elephants like the baby elephants because obviously ideally you'd want to get them out before they have to go through all that cruelty you're looking at two to three million baht to get a baby elephant because they're really cute and everyone wants to see them and they've got their whole life of work ahead of them so their owners don't want to sell them um so yeah, it was quite sad, like some of them had injuries on, you could see where their past owners had hooked them in the head to get them to do stuff. And um, they put like nails behind their ears to try and get them to do the things they want. Um, some of them had awful leg injuries, you could see like old injuries from where they've like snapped, broken their hips and snapped their legs doing the elephant rides, that's how bad they are for them. So um, yeah, definitely recommend it, it was probably, one of our favourite days since coming to Thailand. So it's George's last evening in Thailand. <laughs> I am so, 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 so sad. I'm actually like a bit heartbroken that you're leaving. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm super, super sad. Um, mm. Like I said, I actually think I'm probably gonna cry all evening. But the sun has come out, so that's good. So he can work on his last little bit of tan because obviously the last week it's been like really raining. Leaving me? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so sad. <laughs>